If you're all enlightened like me, and that's beautiful, but it's true. You know what I mean? He's like talking some part. All right, today I'm checking out Yard Act. I'm listening to the song 100% Endurance. Let's get into it. I was woken by a bang. And I could already taste the pain The sudden fear that grips and shakes you when you face the truth Whose sofa was this? Where were my shoes? What did we do last night? I don't remember leaving Nathan's house Oh yeah, how could I forget Why my pants were soaking wet When we'd been pissing ourselves laughing at the news Did you see it too? It was incredible, they played it on a loop we couldn't believe it, basically they discovered that there were others just like us, other beings, other creatures, other planets and other species who had other gods that they believed in and they interviewed all of them and every one of them, not one, could give any hints of a clue what they were doing here either. It's all so pointless. It is, and that's beautiful, I find it humbling sincerely. To know that this will all just carry on with someone else someone There's else. Something, new. something new No need to be blue You say be bullshit but it's true Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah now we're off to meet them, so pack your weapons Don't want them thinking they can pull a fast one on us now, do we, Graham? It's alright, I've fought more wars than I've had on dinners Sure you have, but the key to peace lies within us And we'd already have achieved it if everyone was as enlightened as me <laughs> It's hippie bullshit, but it's true Watch me explode This is oddly fascinating. Like I was really struggling with pausing it. I just wanted to see like, what's the next line? What's the next line? I like the style. You know what I mean? The talking style. It's hippie bull crap, but it's true. Watch me explode. You're all enlightened like me. And that's beautiful, but it's true. You know what I mean? He's like talking some parts, singing a little bit. I don't know why, but that is always. Well, I guess if it's executed properly. But anyway, most of the time, that is definitely a vibe I'm feeling. Lyrically, I think I'm following along, but it can, it can be a lot. You know what I mean? He's not taking many breaks. He's talking and talking and talking. I think what's going on, everyone just kind of woke up and they didn't know where they were. And they're like staring at this, the sun or something. I don't know. Now they're all going back to Nathan's to see what's happening. Something like that. Pointless, ah, but it's not though, is it? It's really real and when you feel it, you can really feel it Grab somebody that you love, grab anyone who needs to hear it And shake them by the shoulders, scream in their face Death is coming for us all, but not today Today you're living it, hey, you're really feeling it Give it everything you've got, knowing that you can't take it with you And all you ever needed to exist has always been within you Mmm, so Give poetic Give some of that good stuff, that human spirit Cut it with a hundred percent endurance It's hippie bullshit, it's true. Watch me explode. What the heck? What a twist. It was well worth the money. Oh, was that like a sponsored? 
thing. Like he he had his neighborhood recreated and like little figurines and stuff. He's like, it's well worth the money. Maybe he's promoting whatever that was at the end or something. Or maybe it's his actual, his own business and he's promoting that. Now that that just hold to wipe my whole memory. What was going on? It was something like, mm, living is pointless, isn't it? And there's a bunch of people who felt the same way. So they had kind of a kindredness and it's like, life is just gonna keep going on after you die and da da da, you know what I mean? Like that kind of vibe, which I kind of like, cause living is pointless. There's no point to it all. Well, yeah, that's the point. The point is that there is no point. So you just kind of like pick the experience you want to have. You know what I mean? And then just go in there. You want to travel all the time on your off days and you're the traveler friend. You know, you're always posting your travel pictures on Instagram and you want to do nothing and sit around the house like I want to do. Then you just do that, but I can't do that because Lex and Jack like to get out the house. But I mean, I like to sit in the house. It's nice. Just relax, read a book, you know what I'm saying? Maybe watch something on YouTube. And then that to other people is pointless, but life is kind of pointless. So you just do, do what you want to do. Have the experience that you want to have. Don't live it for anybody else. But I'd like that, that part where they were all dancing and it was like, you know, the human spirit is all you have and you give it to each other. Enjoy the moment. You can't take anything with you. You know what I'm saying? I like the message there. I like the energy and I like the style of singing. Maybe I like that talk singing style because it's, it's poetic. You know, you can be poetic and sing and stuff too, but it's literally closer to a poetry performance or a slam poetry spoken word. Even a rap battle is kind of like they're talking, kind of talking and blaming each other and being all vulgar and no, 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 you suck, I kill you, da, 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 but they're talking when they're doing it. And I used to watch rap battles. I seen some spoken word. I was never like a huge spoken word fan, but I always liked it, like slam poetry and spoken word. I think the talk singing, it's just closer to that than it is to like actually singing, singing. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like I don't know, but I don't.